Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back. We are back again with the revisits. And today, we are going to be tackling the secret cave again on uh, Delta Halo. So, this is like many months ago, possibly even a year ago, but uh, outside the map here on Delta Halo, uh, for those of you who were like visiting the Trigate, which I'll actually make another video on soon, just a little sneak peek of what's coming up soon. But anyways, uh, to get out of the map, you just want to grab a ghost here at the beginning of Delta Halo, and I would recommend you do this in cl uh, classic mode, because the uh, geometry of the map in uh, anniversary mode is not quite the same as classic mode, so it's could be a little confusing to drive. You'll be like floating a lot in anniversary mode. So anyways, the uh, secret cave that I noticed uh, in the anniversary mode on this map, it is... Uh, Back when I made the video, basically had no idea what why it was there because you could not see it in classic mode, and there's nothing there either. But we'll get to that in a second. So just you know, follow the path I'm going right now. You want to be very careful when you're going down this hill here. Don't boost down because if you boost downwards, the game thinks you're falling and you'll die of a fall timer, and you know that'd be pretty annoying to go back and everything. So just be careful. You know, slide down carefully. Uh, I'll slide down like backwards just in case if you need to boost back up to slow down your uh, descent But you know just be careful and then here you want to drive down into the water You could switch to anniversary mode now. It's not too hard to drive from this point But I'd probably still stick in classic mode for just a little bit longer Only because it's you know, you can't see the ground here where you're driving Not yet at least All right, so the secret cave that we found is right around here. There it is. You can only see it in anniversary mode, so you want to switch to anniversary graphics. You can kind of see the outline of it right here, the little tunnel. But we're going to go around so you can see it from the front. But as you can see in the ground, there's a slow, small little tunnel that kind of leads upwards through it. You can kind of see the outline of the edges inside. But you can't really see much more beyond that. And if you switch to classic mode, you don't see anything anymore. <clears throat> so here is the front of the cave. Uh, depending on what angle you're approaching at, uh, different parts of it will deload or load back in. And the interior of it, you have to also be at a certain angle to be able to see uh, more of the interior. And once again, if you switch to classic mode, all gone. So basically, this is pretty much... The cave can only be seen in Halo 2 Anniversary, and I don't believe the cave existed there in the uh, original version of Halo 2. At least on uh, this mission, which I'll explain in a second. But e even on the uh, PC version of Halo 2, if you use a mod to do a fly cam and you fly through the ground on this part, there's nothing in there. You know, it's just empty space. So this definitely did not exist in the past. And basically, in that old video, I. I had no idea what it does. So, how do we get to that cave? What you want to do is start up the mission on Regret now, which is the mission after Delta Halo. And you want to get to this part after you pass the Hunters, and you're going to go into the second elevator to go down into the water. Uh, it's the room with all the invisible elites, and you want to clear them out. And then once you clear them out, you want to come back here, backtrack to this part, right after you have passed the Hunters, and you want to push these crates with you. <clears throat> uh, it's going to take a while, but the best way to do it is to turn on Feather Skull and Sputnik Skull. And that will make it a lot easier to push them, but also a little harder in some ways, because if you're not careful, they'll fly around pretty far and you got to keep moving them back and forth. And if you're less careful, they could even crush you sometimes. I would recommend you do this on co-op with a friend. Because if you die from being crushed, you don't have to revert to last checkpoint. They can just spawn you. Makes it easier. So, anyways. As you can see, it is going to take a while. So we're going to fast forward this in a second. Uh, but, basically, on that old video about a secret cave, uh, you can look for it. It might be in the related videos, but if not, look for it on my channel. Uh, basically... In the comments, you guys had several theories about what the cave was. Uh, some said it was the cave 
uh, that you ride the ele underwater elevator through later in this mission. Or some others had other wild theories about what it was. Um, basically, you guys were correct. At least some of you guys. The theory about it being the cave that you go through underwater on this mission was the correct theory. I don't remember what the other theory was. There's actually another one that was uh, a little more plausible. Oh, I remember. It was the theory that that cave is where the grave mine comes through. You know, uh, later in the mission when Master Chief is floating through the water, the grave mine's tentacles come up and grab the Master Chief. Some say that's where the tentacles come through and then pull Master Chief down. I, I'm pretty sure that's not the correct theory and the tentacles just come from nowhere. But the actual correct theory is that it is just the cave that you go through on the elevator at this part of the mission actually were you to go down to the elevator without doing this glitch so to prove it we are going to go down there uh using this other glitch uh i don't know how old this glitch is actually to go into water it's kind of news to me but it must have it must have been found a while ago i don't know who found it but it just came to my attention recently and i realized we can use it to check out the cave but it only works on uh, the Mission Regret, because the, mis the cave, for some reason, on Delta Halo is there and not there at the same time. And <laughs> as you just saw there, I just died from being crushed. Uh, I gotta tell you, this part was very frustrating for me, and because I, I did it by myself initially, it, <laughs> it just I died so many times and I had to revert and do it all over again. And it was just very frustrating. But basically, you know, you want to push the crates here to the elevator and you want to try to get the crate inside the elevator, both of them. And you want to, you know, um, make sure the crates aren't like stacked on top of each other inside the elevator. You know, they kind of cover the entire thing. And, you know, I, I'm pretty good, I've done pretty good at getting the first one in, but it's always the second one that like screws me over. Like right there, again, the second one just crushes me, and I had to start all over again with both of them. And it just, ugh, you know? So, <laughs> instead of showing you guys more failed attempts, we're just gonna cut right to uh, where my friend Nutcase finally succeeded for me. <laughs> uh, he helped me film the second part of this, because I was unavailable to film it. So we have it here inside, and what you want to do is come to the back of it and press the elevator button from the outside. And once that's done, you want to stand inside of the elevator for a little bit. And then once the door starts closing, quickly jump out and let the elevator go down. As it's going down, you want to jump on top and kind of stand on the edge here. And right before it goes in the water, it will teleport you back up to the top and you want to stand here on a ledge as the elevator goes down in order to survive. It teleports you back up to the top because you filled the inside with crates and normally if you're outside the elevator and it goes down it tries to teleport you inside but because it's filled with crates it, it can't put you inside so it puts you on top. Now once the elevator moves away you do want to wait on a ledge for a few seconds but once it moves away you can you know feel free to jump down underwater and now that you're underwater uh, you can, you know, feel free to explore around, but you want to, our focus here is Secret Cave, so you do want to turn around and head in this direction. And you do want to play in Anniversary Mode the whole time, because in Classic Mode you pretty much can't see anything. It's literally very clear in uh, Anniversary Mode. So even though this is about the Secret Cave, you could use this trick to, you know, um, explore around. It's pretty cool down here, there's a lot of buildings and stuff. and pretty good scenery but anyways here's the cave um, it is the exact same cave same structure and everything we're just like much closer now and we can even go inside the cave now and see it's even the same structure on the inside it kind of goes in and it moves upwards a little bit basically this is the cave that just leads to the next part where the elevator goes up so that's basically the cave, the secret cave, you know. There was a lot of, there was a little bit of mystery around it, and there were a couple of theories about what it was, but the people who had the theories about it being the cave that the elevator goes through, you guys were spot on. So congratulations. 
Uh, now inside the cave, you know, there's really not much else inside. Like I said, you're free to explore around. Um, you can, if you have the feather and Sputnik skull turned on, and maybe even the boom skull, you might be able to go higher up in the cave. But other than that, that's basically to the cave. So I'd say, you know, at this point, you can either try to go up the cave or you can explore around the underwater area. It's, you know, pretty cool. So with that, we're going to say the mystery of the cave is solved. Case closed. And if you guys enjoyed the video, as always, remember to drop a like and leave your thoughts in the comments. And subscribe if you haven't, because we're going to be doing a lot more revisits soon. A lot of really interesting ones. So make sure to stay tuned and we'll see you again next time.